but we're not alone. <laughs> Dad, it's me. Yeah, sorry I didn't call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. You didn't use 1 800 collect. And thus we have control again, so we can look at our menu and see that we're considerably less well armed. We just have the knife. No supplies whatsoever, so no ammo, no health stuff. But we do have a couple of things we didn't have in the nightmare. A house key for our front door. Apparently we live at Daisy Villa Apartments number 102. We also have a pendant. Dad gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's one of my treasured belongings. There's a jewel inside, like a little red tablet. When I asked Dad what it was, he just said it was a lucky charm. But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. So we've also already learned that Heather has some trust issues. But somebody's in there, so no checking that out. We do have this lovely red sign here. The mark on this mirror. It looks so familiar somehow. What do I know it from? Where did I once see it? And why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember it? That would be our save point. And you know, after getting through the nightmare, I think this is a good place for a refreshing pause. So, let's save the game. And refreshing pause it is. Alright, so with that, time to be on our way. Trying to go back out. There are weird old detectives out there, so I'm not leaving. And that gives us only one other option. Out the window. The road's blocked with empty boxes and stuff. I can't get through. There's our window again. A door. But if we go all the way to the end of this alley... Nice parking job. Well, that's helpful. Maybe I should walk around it. Never mind. But how did this car park here? Now, you know, if you were really desperate, you could probably climb over it, just foot on the bumper and... Yeah. Just saying. But when has Silent Hill ever done things the easy way? Broken lock... Broken lock...
Yes, we have plenty of locked doors. And of course, no map yet. But we can get through here. And thus we're back in the mall. And we really must have a word with the cleaning staff. This place is filthy. Most things here are still boarded up tight. This place is open, though. Just a crack. And we find a handgun. Unfortunately, that's not the only thing that came in from our nightmare. Hey, she warned you. Nice delayed death reaction there. Just a quick thing to point out here. Thanks to Heather's shooting spree, indeed, the gun is empty. At this point, I actually prefer using the knife anyway. It's definitely not human. I've never heard of such an animal. And no way is it a costume. It sounds crazy when you say it, but monster is the only word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. It's a monster. I killed it. Yes, you did. You go, girl. Now, I do find a couple of boxes of handgun bullets over here, so that's handy. We also have the poor unfortunate victim over here, though you can't see them very well. I can tell from here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Not like they'd believe me if I said someone's been killed by a monster. Now, there are a lot of people who can apparently see that model better than I can, and claim that it's the same model used in Silent Hill 2 for Angela. But even if that's true, it's probably not a canon thing and is more just an Easter egg. I somehow doubt Angela made it all the way here. So, nothing else of interest in here. Time to be on our merry way. We can unlock that door that we went through earlier, but I really wouldn't go through there. It just puts a bunch of monsters in there that are not worth fighting. We do finally get a map, though. And looking at it, it's even nice enough to go ahead and mark all the doors we've checked so far. Now, if you really feel the need to go all the way back out into the alley to get back into the bathroom and use that save point, you can, but you'll have to fight some double heads in that hallway. Again, not worth it. I push the button, but the elevator won't come. Is it broken or something? Pretty much all the doors here are locked, but we may as well check them for completion's sake. The locker door won't open. Guess I'll just leave it alone. So that has narrowed down our possibilities of where to go to one door. This one.
It'd be too hard to get through here with all the boxes and pallets. And so we're herded up to the second floor. And we have a new playmate, the Numbody. Use the strafing techniques of your weapons to the best of your ability here, and Numbodies really aren't that t uh, tricky to deal with, especially one on one. Just don't get too reckless and aggressive, and you should be fine. One on one, their attacks don't even really do all that much. Because, yeah, that one smacked me around a fair bit, but I'm still more or less okay. Now in here we can get something, but it's fairly tricky to get. Uh, that is if I had the right door, which apparently I didn't. I know it's around here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, double heads are pretty annoying. You can kind of get a rhythm going against them, but they certainly do a lot more damage than the numb bodies do. Yeah, if at all possible, you want to strafe around them as best you can. Lots of stuff, but none of it looks like it'll be useful. Except for meat jerky. Meat jerky is a new item that was introduced in this one. Okay, beef jerky. What am I thinking of that was just called meat jerky? I know there was some game that had that in it. Anyway, beef jerky. Processed dried meat. Sometimes it's just enough to distract monsters. We get four strips of it. It can actually be pretty useful for distracting double heads. I think there are some others later on that it can be useful for. I've never actually used it, though, so I may have to do some research. More and more locked doors. But we can get in here. We get a health drink, another health drink, more handgun bullets, there's a save point here if you feel the need, and also... Something's fallen between the table and the floor. I think it might be a key. If my arms were a little longer, I might be able to reach it. There's a huge pile of cardboard boxes on the table, full of books. It's way too much of a pain to move something that heavy. So we're not going to be able to get that key just yet. I see how my health's doing after fighting that double head. May want to go ahead and chuck one of those. Okay. All right. Also locked. So this seems to be our only exit.